is the Chinese People's Liberation Army using self-destruct helmets, which can be activated by the soldier or the soldier's commander in the event of capture. This came out of a YouTube channel, oddly enough called Facts Matter, and it's a good example of how journalists who've never served in the military can spread fake news that sounds correct. I wrote Facts Matter and asked them to respond. They chose not to, so now I'm gonna close this loop. Explosives are ammunition. Soldiers aren't just allowed to walk around with explosives and ammunition. In fact, after soldiers shoot their rifles, we even count weigh and return the shell casing. A soldier's helmet gets bumped, jostled, thrown into the back of trucks, sat on, and explosives are sensitive for things like temperature, humidity, jostling, electricity. Do you want to put an explosive helmet next to an electrical wire? Electrical and remote detonation means the helmet needs to have a battery. And if the helmet has a battery, it probably has an access door. Because a soldier can't charge his helmet for 12 hours, he's going to have to replace batteries in the field. It's more likely that the self-destruct is really a way to clear encryption and data from a high-tech helmet, something the U.S. Army can do by switching the radio to Z.